two priests review three priests react to church jokes well welcome uh, once again to uh, two priests react although today we are doing three priests three uh, pre reacting three pre that's right. Too many. No, I'm just kidding. That's perfect. <laughs> it's Trinitarian. Yeah. So I'm I'm Father Ron Nelson. This is Father Mark Bentz, and we invite with us via Zoom with the great advances in technology, Father Chuck Wood. So welcome. Yes, yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me horn in on you guys' act. I saw you guys, and I said I got to get in on that action. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you did. So. Um, Anyway, so actually, Father Chuck has uh, done a little bit of research for us and has found some good, uh, like, priest and Catholic jokes. And so we're going to go through those and take turns. Mm. <laughs> well, this is a short little one fun I just got thrown there. I was going to tell you about all the drama at the convent, but then I remembered it's none of your business. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Um, what do you call a priest in charge of the school play? Anybody? Um, the spiritual director. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's one. A uh, priest is in a semi-rural town, kind of like Scapoose, where I am, pastor at St. Wenceslas. And... He strikes up a friendly relationship with the local doctor. And they get to trust each other's judgment. So the priest, when he has prisoners who are sick, he refers them to the doctor. And when the doctor knows people are having spiritual issues and emotional problems, he refers them to the priest. So one time, the priest then goes to the local pharmacy where they fulfill his fulfills his prescriptions. And I don't know why they care about HIPAA, but he finds out that one of his parishioners has gotten from the doctor a prescription to listen to four video or to watch four videos of the priest's homilies. Mm -hmm. And he's like all pumped up like, gee, he thinks I'm something. He's prescribing my preaching for medicine. But then he finds out the guy was having problems with insomnia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yep. I'll wait for that one. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here we go. After church service on Sunday morning, young boy suddenly announced to his mom, Mom, I've decided to become a priest when I grow up. Oh, that's all right with me, honey, but uh, what made you decide that? Well, little boy said, I, I have to go to church on Sunday anyway. I figure it'll be more fun to stand up and yell than to sit down and listen. <laughs> <laughs> he must go to your church, Father Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is actually, this is based on a true story, mm -hmm. which is they happen to me. So I was in... Uh, at a former parish, which I shall not mention, but I was walking around a shopping center in regular civilian clothes, just regular person clothes. And I saw a woman from the parish who was there with some of her friends, some of her lady friends. I don't know what they were doing. So she wants to introduce them to the priest from her parish. So it comes up to them and she says, oh, Father, I want to introduce you to some of my friends. And they said, this is one of the priests from my parish. And then when she noticed I was dressed in civilian clothes, she said, Father, I don't recognize you in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. All right. This, this one's this one oldie but a goodie, too. All right. Jesus and Satan are having an ongoing argument about who was better at computers. They've been going out for days, and God, the Father, was tired of all the bickering between Jesus and Satan. So finally God said, cool it, guys. I'm going to set up a test. It'll run two hours, and I'll judge who does a better job. So down Satan and Jesus sat at the keyboards and typed away. They moused. They did spreadsheets. They wrote reports. They sent taxes. They sent email. It went out. Email with attachments. They downloaded. Did some genealogy reports. Made cards. They did every known job. But ten minutes before the time was up, lightning flashed. A 
across the sky. Rain poured, and of course, the power went out. Satan stared at his blank screen and screamed every curse word known in the underworld, and Jesus just sighed. Electricity finally came back on, and each of them restarted the computers. Satan started searching frantically and screamed, It's gone! It's gone! I lost everything! And the power went out. Meanwhile, Jesus quietly started printing out all his files from the past two hours. Satan observed this and became irate. Wait, he cheated! How did he do it? God shrugged and said, Jesus saves. <laughs> that is really bad. <laughs> uh, pastor went out one Saturday to visit his church members. At one house, it was obvious that someone was home, but nobody came to the door, even though the pastor had knocked several times. Finally, the pastor took out his card, and he wrote a note, and he wrote Revelation 3.20 on the back of it and stuck it on the door. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and him with me. The next day, the card turned up on the collection plate. Below the pastor's message was the notation Genesis 3.10. I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Have you ever had the experience where somebody will come up to you after Mass and they'll say, uh, Father, that was a great sermon. I just love the point when you said such and such a thing. And you think to yourself, I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah. but the Holy Spirit, you know, sometimes just yeah. puts what the people need to hear yeah. uh, in, in their ears, you know? Sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You two have never had this happen, I can assure you, but... I've been at parishes where the other priest was white, a, you know, a Caucasian brother of mine, and either I presided and he preached or I, whatever, but the other priest was the preacher who gave the homily. And after Mass, people are coming up to me and saying, nice homily, Father. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh, um, you know. All right. A priest, minister, and a rabbi are discussing when life begins. The priest says, life begins at conception. The minister says, life begins at 24 weeks gestation. The rabbi says, you are both wrong. Life begins when the kids move out of the house and the dog dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a short one. Why did the priest giggle during his homily? He had mass hysteria. Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay. No. Uh. <laughs> so a priest was driving and gets stopped for speeding. The state trooper smells alcohol on the priest's breath and then sees an empty wine bottle on the floor of the car. He says, Father, have you been drinking? Just water, says the priest, crossing his fingers. The trooper says... <laughs> Then why do I smell wine? And the priest looks at the bottle and says, Praise be God, he's done it again. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, let's see, that same priest, I don't know about this. He's got to watch it. He got pulled over another time. He was doing 70 in a 45-mile zone. Mm. So it's, you know, that's a big bucks ticket. Yep. So the cop pulls him over, says, Father, you know, da, 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 writes out the ticket. The priest sees how much it's going to cost, and he says, Officer, can't you cut me some slack? Can't you just somehow overlook this? I can't afford this. I'm a poor preacher. And the cop says, Yeah, I know. I've heard your homily. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, burn the priest. Okay. All right. All right. Don't speed. Don't drink and drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. PSA. Actually, they have, a, they, have a, they have another one in here. Oh, this I went out on this one. Yeah. So, a guy says to God, "Hey God, what's a million years like to you?" God says, "Like one second." He goes, "What's a million dollars like to you?" Just like one penny, son. Can I have one penny? The man says. And God says, "Give me a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That one's all right. Yeah. We'll do that one. <laughs> so there's a parish where the priest just gives ridiculously long homilies, but nobody wants to do anything about it. The parishers just know to live with it. So one time he starts his homily and 
somewhere in what people hope is at least the middle of it, a guy gets up. Just gets up and looks and starts walking out. The priest is up, just cannot believe it. He stops and says, excuse me. And the guy turns around and he says, I can see you're a visitor, but tell me, how dare you get up in the middle of my homily? Why are you leaving? The guy says, I need a haircut. The priest says, excuse me, why didn't you get the haircut before you came to Mass? The guy turns back and says, I didn't need a haircut before I came to Mass. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Speaking of haircuts, I need one, but I'm not able to get one here until like, we get past this this uh, sheltering in place. Well, you didn't ask me. I could cut your hair. Do I don't, do I don't, do I don't know what you do. <laughs> I mean, I've got my own hair. If you like this, you know, I can do that for you. <laughs> yeah, I just did my hair, and I can't do a thing with it. Yeah. I tell you, man. Well, Father Chuck, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. And, okay. Uh, it's uh, real it's good. Fun. Good to see you. Again, maybe some other category of jokes or yeah. not jokes or yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we can do it again. Uh, the uh, it's great that the technology allows us to do this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, certainly I do say hi and hello to all the prisoners at Saint Wenceslaus, who I hope will watch this. We have our own YouTube channel now, Saint Wenceslaus Skakus or and everybody do ask the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead to keep us up, to raise up our spirits, our hearts, our morale, and let us be sources of hope and joy and fun and bad jokes to get us laughing uh, with one another. God bless all of you at St. Alice and everybody near and far in the Archdiocese and beyond. And may the Lord fill you with grace today. And God bless all of you at St. Mary's and uh, and uh, throughout the whole Archdiocese and world. So um, God bless you all.